my friends. It is Friday, so it is meal plan and grocery haul day. This week's meal plan is very sparse. We have several Christmas events to attend at night, parties and dinners and such, so I'm not doing a whole lot of cooking, but I'm going to do a little bit. So I will turn you around. I will show you what we are having for breakfast, lunch, and dinner, and then I will go right into the grocery haul. Okay, for Sunday, we have an event right after church. So we're gonna be eating kind of late. That's why the question mark is on lunch. Um, we're just gonna do eggs and hash browns for breakfast when we get home to save up all our points for Christmas party Sunday night. Monday, once again, I am on the purple plan right now. So I am going low point because of a dinner Monday night. I'm gonna do oatmeal and fruit for breakfast and a picky plate for lunch. I really have been loving the picky plates. They've just been really satisfying me and a nice variety of things. And I, I really, really struggle with lunch. So these have been working out very well. And then I have my women's uh, club Christmas dinner for church that night. So we'll be going out. I know the restaurant we're going to, and I think I already have my dinner picked, so I will be well within my points. On Tuesday, it's weigh-in day, so it's a light day of eating for me. Breakfast sandwich for breakfast with some fruit, a salad for lunch, and then I will probably get takeout for dinner. Um, Adam is not going to be home, and Doug and Andrew both have a meeting at church, so they and they'll be eating there, so they won't be home. So I will probably get Chinese takeout. Wednesday, I am recycling the chai French toast bake because it never got made this week because I was out of milk the day I went to make it. And then Doug had a breakfast at work and then just everything, you know how it is, life happens. So I'm gonna be making it next week. I'm gonna have that for breakfast on Wednesday and lunch is gonna be tuna with cut up tomatoes and crackers. I don't have the points for the crackers because honestly, not sure what kind yet. And then dinner is going to be from Kim over at A Girl and Her Phone. And it is country steak and gravy. I was watching her video and my mouth was watering. Oh my gosh, comfort food at its finest. And ugh, the points weren't bad at all. So I was very excited. Um, I'm gonna serve that over mashed potatoes and with a vegetable on the side. I will link the video where Kim did the cook with me in the description box below. So if you are interested, you can go watch that and see what I'm talking about. Thursday, we're gonna have the chai French toast bake again, leftover, picky plate for lunch, and dinner is gonna be crock pot potato soup. It is a extreme favorite in this house, and I will be making some homemade bread. I just realized today that my homemade bread, I believe is only three points for a slice. I won't know the exact until I cut it. I am estimating that we're gonna get 16 slices out of it. And if we do, it's only three points for a nice slice of that. And it is delicious. And I will probably be doing a cook with me on that. Um, if I don't do it next week, I'll probably be making it again over Christmas. And it's a little easier for me to film when I'm not working. And I am off from the 20th of December until the 2nd of January. So anyway, um, I will definitely show you how I make it. It is so easy. You don't have to knead it or anything. It's wonderful. Friday, eggs, sausage, and hash browns for breakfast, keeping it nice and low point. Leftover soup for lunch. And then another favorite, can you tell Andrew's home? Chicken in potato baskets for dinner. It is your meal all in one. So I know it looks, oh, nine points on blue and green, but it's your whole meal. It is a bowl that's lined with shredded hash brown potatoes. And then you fill it with a filling that you make on top of the stove that's mixed vegetables and chicken and a creamy white sauce. I've made this before on a cook with me. If I can find it, I will link it below. I think it was part of a um, 
like a meal prep back when I was doing a lot of meal prep. But I will link that below because it is fabulous. And then Saturday, keeping it low for breakfast and lunch, oatmeal for breakfast. Now, I say keeping it low and oatmeal is zero for me on purple. If you're on green or blue and you need to keep it low, there's always eggs, zero points. So, you know, you can always alter to keep things low and I'm keeping it low because we have yet another Christmas party Saturday night. Um, picky plate again for lunch and then the Christmas party Saturday night. So saving all my points up for that. And exercise is the usual, running and hit training and a combination of both. I am going to start, I don't know if I'm gonna start now or maybe after the new year. I really wanna push myself with my running a little bit more. I generally do three miles or 3.1. I really wanna start working on a little bit more distance. So I think I'm gonna start trying to push myself to go a little bit further. And it's not a stamina thing, honestly, it's a time crunch thing. And it's a laziness thing, I'll admit it. So we'll see how that goes. So that is the menu meal plan for the week. As always, if you would like a blank copy of my menu planner, just go to my website, www.jonespointatplate.com, click on free printables, and you will find this version. You will find a version that does not have anything here Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. You can fill it in yourself whenever your week starts. And there's also um, a horizontal version too. So feel free to go over and print that out for free. And also on the homepage of my website is the menu with the clickable links for the recipes. That will not be up until Sunday though. I do this today and I do that over the weekend. So there you have it, and let's get right into that grocery haul. Here is the Walmart grocery haul. Just a couple household products first. Some Blue Buffalo dog treats, soft scrub, and aluminum foil. And then for food, we have Honeycrisp apples, some bananas, eggs. And then from the deli, I've got American cheese and some turkey breast. And then this was supposed to be two packages of cube steak and they only sent one. So I need to call Walmart when I get done filming this and ask for my refund. I'm going to be making, as you saw on my menu plan, Kim's uh, steak and gravy or country steak and gravy. I forget exactly what it's called. That's what that's for. This was a substitution. I asked for a great value unsweetened plain almond milk and they gave me the Almond Breeze Unsweetened Vanilla, and I okayed it, it'll be fine. Um, some low-fat cottage cheese, a gallon of milk, cream cheese for the potato soup, Ready Whip because it's Ready Whip, two things of chicken broth, one for the soup, and one just to have on hand. And I have two packages of shredded hash browns. Um, this is for the soup, for the potato baskets, the uh, chicken and potato baskets, and just for breakfasts. Mixed vegetables for the chicken and potato baskets. Cream of chicken soup for the potato soup. Some beef broth for the um, country steak and gravy. And that is it, my little Walmart haul that ended up being like $65 for this little amount of stuff. So there you go. So there you have it, our menu for the week. What a week it is. <laughs> um, it, you know, it's the holiday season and we can do what we can do. And as long as we plan for it, we can get through this. And I know if I can do it, you can do it. So let's just plan for all those parties and all those dinners. Let's make good choices. Enjoy the choices you make. Don't eat something just because it's low in point. Don't, because you're not gonna be satisfied and you're gonna be left wanting more. So find something that is low in point and that you love and you enjoy and go for it from there. So that's it for me. I will be back over the weekend. Um, 
our weekend plans really got kind of screwed up for tomorrow because it's supposed to rain all day. We were going to go into the city and do all the fun Christmas stuff, but not happening now. Yeah, so I will be back. I will do something over the weekend, full day of eating, day in the life. Maybe we'll have something fun to do. I'm not sure. Maybe Denise and I will vlog from that party Sunday night and show you our strategies live and in person. Well, taped and what we're eating. We'll see. Never know what you're going to get with me. But thank you for watching. If you haven't already subscribed, please hit that subscribe button and the notification bell. Leave me a comment below. Let me know what your crazy Christmas schedule looks like and how you're going to handle it. And let me know if you have any great recipes you want to share. I will talk to you soon, my friends.